What are you thinking about right now? Hmm. Uh, a familiar feeling, uh, being stuck between desire and responsibility and um, the world seemingly pulling you in two different directions. I guess literally, <laughs> if we're <laughs> in between two different continents. Um, sad but excited, um, hopeful but nervous. Uh, the last time I was here, we didn't exactly I don't know if we left it better than we found it, uh, which is, I think, what Dorian's always wanted in yeah. a certain extent. Uh, so, definitely trepidatious, but um, just going with the flow. Yeah. Floating in the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you I go. didn't say it, I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Your mind drifts back to Bell's Hells. <laughs> and the people you left behind yeah. and looks forward to the people that you could perhaps seek out. Mm. What's your plan? Oh, you thought there was a plan? No. <laughs> Look, you mentioned Kaimal, not me. This airship won't make it that far. You're gonna have to stop in Amon. Yeah. And you know what's waiting there. Mm. So what's your plan? What are you gonna do? You can't talk to Cyrus about it. He doesn't understand. Hmm. It's all on you right now. You are snapped from your reverie, and you find yourself already here in the city of Kaimal at a gambling table with your full crew. Can I get the squad, please? We're in it, baby. Oh. What's up? Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You guys have been here for like, I'm gonna say half a day, enough time to, you know, just begin to relax into saying your highs and get into a little bit of trouble here at the Maiden's Wish. You are in the city of Kaimal. It is known for its casinos and truly nothing else. <laughs> it is a muddy little backwater that was built on the back of a gold rush. Uh, decades and decades passed, and the casino scene and that kind of low-level crime syndicate that gives you a very uh, Reno now or uh, <laughs> Vegas in the 1950s flair perme permeates through everything. This is the perfect place to lay low. All right, so let's catch up a little bit with our crown keepers. Fiderai, uh, you're sitting at this table. Uh, a little twitchy, a little head over your shoulder. What's got you so on edge right now? Uh, well, it's been a, a little over a year since I, I left them before they left each other. It's been a, a little over a year since I found out my sister is still alive and I have yet to fucking find her. Okay, uh, you guys are all sitting at a table uh, for a game of the Change Bringers' Favor. It's very, very simple. 25 gold buy-in. Uh, this is how it works. You roll 2d6. If they add together for a 7 or a 12, you win. And it's your turn. Fiderai, please roll 2d6 for me. This gambling reminds me of my darker days. <laughs> <laughs> Never like this. I don't like things that aren't a sure thing. What'd you get? Six. Six. Uh, the, the person working at the table sort of reaches forward, looks down and goes, you could always double down on your bet. Another 25 gold. You roll one more d6. See if you can get to a seven or 12. How much gold do I have? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Meta? Meta? Anyone? <laughs> Good start. <laughs> Enough to, to stay in for at least one more round. What the hell? Otherwise, I'll be out very quickly. <laughs> Twelve! <Whoa! laughs> Incredible. Uh, <laughs> the attendant looks a little crestfallen, but quickly covers it with a smile. Congratulations. And pushes 75 gold Ooh. in your direction. I believe I shall quit while I am ahead. That's what they say, yes? 
And we sort of pan over now to Opal. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just uh, trying to stall. Um, Yo, respect. Uh, no. Uh, okay, so it's been a while, and <laughs> why don't you start? Start off with what does Opal look like? Because when last so we saw right. her, mm. you know, big terrifying circlet dripping black ichor down your yeah. forehead. Is that the fit? Right That's now. the fit, but she is using her actor feet to disguise self because it is a terrifying image. Okay. Um, she still has a circlet, and it's very much entrenched in her skin. She tried to remove it at the end of our last sesh. Um, didn't, wasn't uh, able to. And her clothes are kind of like stained with oil or whatever goop came out of yeah. that. And she's like tried to wash it out, but like it's still permanently just kind of not looking as sharp as it was. She's got like stained hands from when she tried to remove it. And um, she still has her opal necklace, which is her connection to Ted. And um, yeah, so she's looking pretty rough normally, but tonight she has uh, changed into her normal, usual self. She's got her hair up and the nice updo, and maybe she, I don't know, like stole a fur bolero, or maybe she still has it from that one time. Wait, did you steal one? I this mean, is so important. I mean, she's very empowered at the moment. She does have a vestige. Like, I just feel like... I just feel like the more I'm compass. gonna need you to. We're gonna move back in time uh, to you passing by. Uh, we go back in time to <laughs> to Opal in tears as you were arguing with. Uh, you know, it's very full in your brain right yeah, now. Yeah, You've yeah, got yeah. Ted. Yeah. You've got uh, the Spider Queen. Yeah. It's a lot of women yelling. Yeah. Uh, and you spot it, a fur beautiful, pristine, mm -hmm. draped over a chair, and the woman that's clearly the owner of it mm -hmm. is uh, half in the bag, mm -hmm. leaning over the bar, trying to get the bartender's yeah. attention. Right. So I think what happens is um, she doesn't think twice. I think she just goes by and she may be like, oh my gosh, she drops um, maybe some of the drink that Opal, that I'm holding. I just mm -hmm. drop it on the floor and the lady's like, oh my God, it's all over my shoes. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then I grab the coat and I leave. Why don't we, why don't we work through that a little bit? Go ahead and give me a deception check okay. as you spill your drink Is to get this woman's attention. Uh, the woman looks down at you. What are you, oh my God, you, um, oh my God, you spilled I alcohol on my clothes. Oh no, and I think she just turns back to what she normally looks like, Opal, and scares the shit out of this woman. Please make an intimidation check with advantage. Oh, so oh, okay, hold on. Uh, intimidation, oh, that's good, that's 19. What the, f oh my god! <laughs> Are you some sort of demon? Well, I shouldn't be judgment. Like, there's so many demons here, but this is fucking worse. Do you want me to get closer? No. I smell really bad. I believe you. Okay. Can you go? Yes, I, was I will here. go. I will go you right now. You can go. Okay, you can enjoy yourself. Go ahead, have a good night. She like grabs her coat and her fur bolero. Do you try to? You, oh, she she's just, fully staring at you. You still try to steal it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do? Feels so good to be back. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Make a sleight of hand check with disadvantage, or are you just like staring her down? Like this is mine now. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think it's like. Do you want me to get closer? No, no, no. Okay. Have a and nice you just night. Pick it up and walk away. Yeah, I just feel like she just maybe feels like she's. She's got it. I don't know. She's got a lot of confidence at the moment. You grab it. You sling she it over your it. shoulder. Yeah. Uh, you hear and feel skittering across the inside of your mind and like a contented, almost purr of laughter uh, as one of the uh, sort of, one of your roommates Inhab is like, this is great. Uh, and Ted's like, what are you doing? Well, you just got so fully, much money. You fully stole that. Yeah. Stealing what? from the rich, giving to the me. What? You're also rich. Do you I'm not, not remember like a year ago when you guys made so much money? I mean, that's. You could just I buy one. Why would I buy one when it's just sitting right here, Ted? Oh my god. Remember when we thought you're... you were dead for a while? That was better. You're so mean. Okay, wait, no, I was kidding, I was kidding. We no. do that, remember? Like, we do that. Give me a drink right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perception check. 
first time you went this time. I'm gonna say with disadvantage because this is a makes me so sad. I'm sorry. I'm a sorry. bad person. No, no, you're not. You're a lovely person, and <laughs> I really enjoy you. your company. <laughs> Thank you. This is really kind. You know what? No disadvantage. That was a beautiful moment. Well, What'd you, you get? Go. Well, that's a 19. Oh my yeah. god. I just got conned so hard. <laughs> we are in a gambling town. Yes. I God, you're good at this. Love this. <laughs> we move just a little bit farther to the right to see our good friend Dariax. Dariax, our uh, dwarven sorcerer, uh, is on probably his fourth cup, <laughs> um, and is and has kind of like watched you do this a couple times. Watched you win, and and has kind of been like waiting for the time. And was like. All right, I'm gonna carry the luck onward. Uh, how much can I put in? Uh, oh, uh, the buy-in is 25, but you can put in however much. All right, you want. I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put in uh, 20 platinum. Oh, 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 are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, it's you great. Sure? Look, she can do it. I can do it. Yeah. The moment he turns and moves his hands away, uh, oh, it swept oh, up. God. All right. Final bet. Okay. It. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and make your roll. All right. So uh, two d six, and you're looking for a seven or a twelve. Six. All right. Oh, you can do it. That's oh. it's a six. It's like you did. Okay. You can do it again. Do you want to double down? Double yeah, I want to double down. Oh my well, how god. How much is that? No. It's going to be another twenty platinum. No. Great. I have forty platinum. Perfect. Oh my All right. god. And what do I do now? Roll one more d6. All right, all right, all right. That is a 12. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> He's lucky. He's got the luck of the idiots. <laughs> <laughs> no. And you see, uh, so slowly, 60. Yeah, 60 plat. It's pushed back in your direction. <laughs> That's Good job. incredibly lucky. You know, when people think about luck, they think a good old dairy axe. And eventually you get the bartender's attention. Uh, Erica, can you come out? Oh! Hey! NPC, 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 NPC. Oh my goodness! How about that, Dots? Hi. Oh, hi. Okay. So uh, you see this like tiny dwarf hand uh, popping over the crowd. You're currently uh, dealing with the attentions of everyone at the bar, but especially yeah. uh, like a pale blue, uh, ruggedly handsome Air Genasi who's just. So, like, what are oh. you doing? Uh, oh, later? shit! Of course, really? of course it wasn't me. Yeah, I push down my feathers. Please, just paint us a word picture. Hey. Please describe oh. what yeah, we yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically you see a uh, a really cute bunny girl. <laughs> oh my god. So, okay, so. <laughs> okay, so start from the top. So let's, oh, yeah. let's start from the top. All the way down. So I'm a, I'm a lagomor, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, so I'm a basically humanoid uh, rabbit. And yes, so uh, I am wearing a, uh, I'm about, I think I'm like 5'10 or so. Oh, I am, yeah. oh, I'm wearing a, a feathered, basically 1950s showgirl outfit Stop. that is way form over function. They make us wear them here. Okay. And it's so crowded and it's so hot. Um, and yeah, I turn around, I have, I have like bright green eyes and big gray bunny ears. <gasps> yep. You can hi! see. Hi! <laughs> oh, Mostly I that. Ah, I heard you. Okay, hi, glad you heard me. Hi. The guy that was talking to you looks over and goes, Dariax, hey, where have you been? What's up, Cyrus? Uh, hey. Apparently not getting drunk enough. I came to get another order of the bread, you know? The bread? Yeah, the special drink, the bread. Oh, yes, the bread. I'll get it right away. Thank you kindly. I turn, my smile immediately disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I go, is bread, is bread one of the drinks? Sure. Great. Bread! <laughs> make, do me a favor, make it's a history yeast. check for yeah, me. Yeah, like right. Pure brewer's yeast. Yeah. <laughs> It's just hops. Oh you got a little bit of bread in the stomach and you've been drinking it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's an eight. Soak up the rest of the alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, with an eight, the name Dariax is strange. Uh, you've not heard it many times, but it does ring a bell. Oh. I look up into the skies for a brief moment. 
it's the ceiling of an indoor building. <laughs> no and, I, and I just say to myself, God, I hate it here. I go and I make the bread. <laughs> How much is that? That's one gold. Oh, shit. Uh, it's a good thing I just came into some money. Uh, I put a platinum down. Wow, that's the biggest oh, money oh, wow. I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, dear. I like bread. Right. Like, we are having a conversation. Excuse me, we at the Maiden's Wish reserve the right to refuse service to anyone, including loudmouths. I didn't think I was being loud, I was being direct. I just. So why don't you go ahead and pour me another, another little drink, sweetheart? I know how to deal with this. I've done it before a few times. Okay. First coin in play. So, uh, when this normally happens, what do you do? I sweet talk him. All right. Break me off a piece of that. As he gets louder and angrier and is starting to spread out, you think he's getting, he's like gaining physical mass. This was, uh, he looked human and seems, his skin seems to be getting like paler and stretching taut and uh, his hair sort of receding away from him as he's like go, undergoing some sort of very unattractive transformation. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so big. Thank you, I've been lifting. I think maybe you are the biggest man I've ever seen. And then I accidentally knock over a tray of olives. Oh! Oh, don't you worry about that. I got that. I got it. Oh, and he immediately, so like a vampire, I guess, goes and starts like picking up the olives and uh, begins to like return back to his normal size mm -hmm. as uh, your uh, lady in distress act mm -hmm. has caught him off guard enough that he's de escalating the situation. Thank you so much for picking up those olives. Anything for you, sweetheart. I know I shouldn't call you sweetheart. I have a lot of internalized things to, to deal with. <laughs> That's on me. <sighs> it's okay, I know, I know. I've seen this man before. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I just flick a tray of olives and he he's like, oh, I have to be the hero. Every time. <laughs> I Every help time. pretty lady. Yeah. <laughs> I need to ask you. Yeah? You have so much platinum, it seems. So much you can just throw it away on a couple little drinks. Bread. It is a delicious drink that you made very well, and I like to be appreciative of your, you know, my pa the patronage that occurred. Yeah. yeah, kind of a nebulous patronage. Yeah, you know, well, either way. Where did you get all of it? Well, see, so here's the crazy thing. Like, a bunch of us, well, we started by, like, peeing off a rooftop, and then, like, we ended up getting in trouble with, like, these people in Amman that were, like, mm. big thieves and shit. Then we went into, like, a big mountain shit. where there was, like, a fiery, like, glitter or something, and then we then we ended up, like, going by, like, this door to the Feywild, and then we ended oh. up going to a, a place deep in a jungle where there was, like, awesome elephant people, and then I met, like, a big cat statue, put its spirit inside me, and uh. then we fought, like, a giant floating, like, box thing, it turned into a big angry face, and then my my friend got a crown, and it's crazy. <laughs> wow. It sounds like you all have been through a lot together. Yeah, a decent amount, I'd say. That's cool. Anyway. <laughs> uh, At first, you just one. didn't do it, but now <laughs> it's worse, uh -huh. because you run smack <laughs> oh. into the woman whose bolero you stole. <laughs> okay. She's going to try what Morgan did. She's trying to learn to be charming in that way. <laughs> Hi, big lady. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. That's a very nice wrap. Oh, yes, I was holding it for you. A lot of pickpockets in this town. So it would seem. And she just puts out her hands. Why the fuck is this wet and sticky? Well, because you left it unattended. And then I dropped your drink, and then I may have gotten another drink on it. So, you're welcome. And her eyes finally slide away from me. Oh, she says, maybe you shouldn't wear heels if you can't walk in them. All right, I've had just about enough of this, and she's gonna um, go get me my olives, or I call security. Cast vicious mockery on this bitch. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is incredible. Go Excuse me, sir. 
uh, and the eyes that meet you are a like young, like probably say 13 or 14 year old tiefling mm. uh, with like kind of carrot colored skin and a bunch of freckles. Mm. Just kind of looks up at you. Excuse me, young sir. I'm sir, yes. What do you need? I believe you may have mistakenly picked up something that my friend dropped, hmm? and my eyes flame up a little bit. Uh, this tiefling matches you gaze for gaze, mm-hmm. and uh, his eyes kind of flare up too, and he goes, okay, I'm gonna assume you're with her. Yeah. I don't even look away, and I'm like, describe her. Uh, 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 white, white hair, pretty, uh, uh, gooier than you think when you touch. That's Pants my, strappy on the sides. That's my companion, yes. Do you have something of hers by mistake, I believe? Yes, no? No. Now see, what is interesting about this is that I happen to know that you are not telling the truth. And I don't really want to do anything physical about it. It's such a crowded place. You don't have to. And he's like weirdly starting to take on your your accent. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Okay. I'll trade you. The thing I took from your friend for a secret. Any secret? Any at all? Yeah. I lean in and I say. He gets so close that your nose is kind of mushy a little bit. I'm actually not from around here. (laughs) No shit. (laughs) That's not a secret. Your hair's on fire. (laughs) What's your tattoos? What does it mean? If you tell me what your set, what your tattoos mean, I'll give it back. My tattoos mean that someone who loved me very, very much never wanted me to feel pain, but instead wanted others to who tried to hurt me. So your tattoos are like magic? You could call it that, or you could call it loving touch. Either way, no one here knows about that but you. And she boops him on the nose. He blushes a little bit and gets darker orange. Promise? I promise. So, I don't know, you don't seem like you're from around here. You're from a different plane of existence. Oh, that sounds good. You're very good tech sense as well. Thank you, I'm trying. I really like this kid. There's some uh, new people in town. Don't say. And they're crowding in on, you know, what the families and the clans do. Oh, really? And I was hoping to get in good with them. They don't have names, but they seem real important. Because they've been knocking down every other casino here. These people, do they uh, by any chance wear a, a particular symbol? If you've spent any time in Amman. Oh, child. What you have is the sigil of the Nameless Ones. Oh, shit. So there's a bunch of different, like, theater halls, mm-hmm. and they would normally be running several shows. Uh, there was, a like, a wonderful sort of residency artist named Tharla Star that's been performing for months. Mm-hmm. <gasps> but for whatever reason, in, like, the last week or so, the other two theaters were shut down, and it's just this kind of god-awful one-man show lounge review mm-hmm. of uh, In the Belly of Dragons, The Legend of Scanlan Shorthalt and Vox Machina Stop. musical review. Okay. Being put on by the nephew of the owner. Uh-huh. So uh, you could meet in front of that theater because no one else is gonna be there. What if we do a heist? What? A heist. A heist? To get your money. S- steal. Sorry. As they're talking about this, you hear them talking about a heist out loud in public in a crowded casino. Yeah. 
I've done like but four heard heists them before. Yeah. Talk you about what they can do. Yeah, not successfully. Please stop saying that. I also, I also oh, ask you something. Sorry. Let's um, come up with the code word for heist. I, I have discussed. You've stolen a lot of gold. Let me be not stupid. Make a map. poodle. Let's make a poodle. Poodle. Poodle's the new word for heist. Yeah. Let's do a poodle. I don't like poodle. Oh, wow, that sounds. That also that sounds, sounds oh, bad no. as well. Oh <laughs> no, that's bad. <laughs> before we get this situated, uh, <clears throat> you got a minute? Sure. <clears throat> Sorry. Just, I get it. Cyrus starts to follow too. Uh, you, uh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I can stay. I'm, I'm sobered up a bit. Okay. I think I'm feeling a little more comfortable in the space. Uh, so I, I'm waiting for the right moment to kind of. We, we got you something. What? Uh, while you were away and you were doing this whole journey thing, helping out, uh, you know, Orm and Fern, uh, we kind of kept an eye out, and there's this 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 kind of. Douchebag traveling performer that came through by Rodin, uh, named uh, Kenneth, and uh, kind of a total dick. Kind of took his instrument, and I, th I just think it'd be better, uh, better in your hands if you don't Aww. mind. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect presents, but it's very nice. What? Yeah. What? What is it? <laughs> And I pull it from, it was under the cloak previously, kind of like holding it the whole day, waiting for the right oh, moment. It's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, but now the cloak's gone, you can see like the, the, the strap over the shoulder and pulls off this like heavy looking mandolin. Uh, like this beautiful yeah. inset kind of uh, like deep red mahogany tint to it and kind of passes it over to you. This is gorgeous. Wait, um, you said you took it off of him. This isn't a dead man's mandolin, is it? No, no, no! I don't think so. <laughs> All right. right. To be truthful, I've never really played it. It has a different tuning, right? And I'm going to try to pluck a little something out of the yeah. mandolin. You absolutely noodle on it, and it feels just. It's. You're right, it's awkwardly shaped and a little different, but like the moment you start to play, it feels like your hands know instinct instinctively exactly where to go. Yeah. And you lose yourself almost immediately. In whatever song you're playing, this is very fun. Thank you so much. Of course, yeah. I figured it was uh, you know, better in the hands of a talented sort than uh, some of these wandering individuals who play themselves off as professionals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Who would ever pretend to be a professional musician? Friends. Gross. <laughs> I walk by. I change lives. That's what Dairy X does. Oh my God, Dairy. Dairy X, by the way. Do you know Denise? Oh. No. I, I. We gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. No, we don't. We gotta go. No, we don't. No, we don't. Um. Okay. As we walk off. Yeah. Focus on the idea. Focus on the plan. Yeah, yes. On the plan. Please. You know he's got. There's a lady here that's. Gonna... Focus on the plan. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um. So we're, if we're at the door, I'd love to summon my familiar. Oh. Ooh. Which I have dangling as an earring. It's a little spider, and I've named her Ted, too. <laughs> oh my God. I just want to say, um, I am you hear deep within your, your own mind, I just want to say I find that name incredibly problematic. Why? Why? Like, why would you name it after me? Because she's kind of ugly. That's so I'm kidding. Up. I'm just kidding. You're not even kidding. I, I'm, I'm kidding a little bit. You. I know, but You're that's not why. Kidding. I, I just like to hold you close, you know, on the outside too. Some bullshit. She takes a very fancy, like green velvet robe, uh -huh. and a man bag, and like three scarves. Oh my God. One of the scarves has pockets, so you now have. <laughs> oh boy. A, I'm sorry. Let's yeah. let's take that back yeah, a second. Yeah, the yeah. scarf has pockets. Say, yes. It's the you big, you know the big Lenny Kravitz scarf that's yes. so much scarf? Yeah. That's a blanket. It's a blanket. Around, it's a blanket and it's got pockets. Oh my god. I said what in the fuck I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um the pockets. I'm going to I'm going to go for the man bag. Are oh, you just going to walk well, well, toward it? Well, how how else am I going to know? This how am I going to know? You're right. You walk towards the bag. Oh, shit. oh I have an idea. No. No, 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 I'm sorry. What? You rolled a, okay. No, no, no. This is your I last one before I punish you for words you say. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. And no, she'll no, no. do it. I will. I'd like I'm to walk. Bastard. I would like to walk, okay, I'd like to put the drink down. No. <laughs> I want to spill the drink. Oh. I want to. You spill 
Yes. I want to run in, I want to walk in and say, hi everybody, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to deliver this drew. <laughs> <laughs> The drink goes everywhere. <laughs> this is my plan. Uh huh. I fall into the coat rack. Oh, I listen yes. for jangles. I try to touch everything. Yes, jangles. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. <laughs> my familiar. That's oh, yeah, her twin. Little spider new jangles. That one's got a twin. No, I'm trying to. I have yeah. a plan. I have a plan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna look at him, and then I'm gonna turn into the room, and as I do, I'm gonna think really hard about the the um, posters that I saw of the beautiful actress who does shows in the other theaters. Starla and Star. Starla Star. Star. And I'm gonna walk Star. in. Star. And I'm gonna say, gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Shh, the show is going on. Shh. Oh my God! Stop. Oh, you all! I'm Darla don't, fucking stop! Shh, shh, shh. Oh my God! I don't want to make. I don't want to make a scene. I'm, I'm a just scene. so excited to see scene. my young friend's show. Oh, the sweet, sweet he boy! The sweet, sweet boy! He, he. He would be so happy. Well, I, He's I, on stage. Right I know he is right now. That's why I'm sneaking back here because I want to leave him a little present. Would you guys want? Would that be all right if I left him a little present? Yeah. The half orc looks you up and down and goes, Miss Star, mm. you are under strict orders to not show your face oh, here fuck. while his nephew is performing. You have a <sighs> tendency to pull focus. Can I tell you a little secret? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I lean into his ear like, the reason I'm not supposed to be back here is because the two of us have begun a bit of a dalliance, you see. Oh. His ears immediately turn like bright red. Like, <clears throat> now, uh, if you would be so kind as to allow me this moment, you know, for my young beloved, and after all, at my age, it's it, it's so rare that we're able to have this kind of attention with someone. I promise to make it worth your while. You know, he's sleeping in. Uh, Mr. Mr. Jacques uh, penthouse. You can just meet him there later. I'll be watching out the front if you want to. Oh. But maybe not here where there's people. Well, this is a lovely idea. I guess because I can do it at will, I'm going to disguise myself <laughs> again as our actor. Uh oh. What's his name? Uh, f f f f uh, Phaedra. 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 In case they open the door. Haha. -ha. They're gonna. Okay, I'm him. Amazing. I immediately transform myself into Tharla as well. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Tharla Star. <laughs> this is a mess. Two blue men and a bartender. Yeah. Blue men group, if you think about yeah. it. Yeah, really. <laughs> I think, because she can't help herself. She goes, ah! Oh, hey, hey. What's up? Oh, uh, we know each other. These are my friends. Get out of the way. Move, move, move. I'm trying to get to my sex den. We're having a, a little party here. <laughs> and I, An important question. Have you ever heard Pedro talk? You know, that's we, a good question. We were at the bar. We, we were, were at yeah. the bar. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, I'm a little hoarse tonight. I just did my show. You finished early. Listen, there was no one there. So I have heard Phaedra. Does she sound anything like him? No. Nope. Oh shit! <laughs> um, oh, darling, I love it when you do these voices. You just can't come out of character. No, can I you? can't. This is my girlfriend, Tharla. Oh shh. Stop the secret. Have you ever heard Tharla talk? Before? <laughs> yes, yes, because I, I watched. Remember, I, I, I spied on the meta. No, I spied on them when they were getting in trouble with Bosca. Uh -huh. no, that wasn't remember. as early, was it? He wasn't Tharla yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just a, a circle of bad impressions. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, wait. I just love it. Wait, what if we do another one? Let's, Let's do another one. one. Let's do another one. Okay, what about the House of Gucci <laughs> accent? That's a good one. What if I talk like this? I oh, so I love it when you talk like <laughs> that. So, Ma'am, mm -hmm. others, why don't you come on inside? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go in. You're gonna get out. Go get us a drink. I should think it was that. Okay. And they like stand by the door to let you in. The next one is an 18. That does hit, but I'm gonna use silvery barbs. 
Ooh. Uh, which means that you have to re-roll and use the lower roll. Amazing. Ew. With a natural three, he misses twice. And yes. and I get to choose someone to give advantage on their next attack roll or save. So what does gonna... that look like as you interrupt his like heavy sword swings? Oh, I go, you're so big! <laughs> <laughs> You're so big, and I and I and I and I look over at Opal, and I go, and Opal, you're amazing. <gasps> Thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just like tears, and she's like, no. Nah. Get out uh, on this bed with oh us. My god. <laughs> um, Get out of the sex bed. Oh, and you have to. They all swarm. They must die. This massive man with his hammer, and take him down, and slit his throat, and stand up. And they point their blades out at all of you. Huh? You're going to lose your names or your heads tonight. Fuck. As okay. three There's nameless three one nameless assassins. Okay, 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 okay. Join the fight. Okay. He goes and picks his nose and flings it and casts fireball in the far corner. Yeah! <laughs> You watch as this 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 errant booger kind of begins to turn brighter and brighter, glowing go, go, red. Go. This ember Fire that just arcs booger. over into the dark corner, and then uh, thirty-five points of fire. Oh, that's cool. oh bye. 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 I know you already started, but you fully mark the three of them in one go. So how do you want to do this? Whoa. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. Uh, as as it detonates in the corner, the, the the spattering of black and flame kind of <laughs> consuming the doorway, as it slowly subsides and their charred husks are on the ground left behind, and the door is like kind of just blackened and cindering, better fall off the hinges. Warcaster feet. I'm going to go ahead and secret flame him as he runs past. So he has to make a dexterity save. Fourteen. Fourteen does not make it. Takes ten points of radiant damage. Oh my. Oh. Tell me that's your third. Okay, bye. <laughs> that's your third. <gasps> yeah! Clean it out. Finish it off, Matt. How do you kill the last guy? All right. As he goes running past, I see him charging in slow motion. I look towards you and be like, shoot <laughs> And I'm going to put my hand in the air so the sacred flames kind of burn up the leg, trying to stop him oh, in his tracks to spin oh. and expose his torso in your direction. Oh! Uh, I'll take my short bow. Sure! I'll take my short bow and take a knee and shoot him. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm not going to make you, you don't have to roll the hand. Okay. It's fine. Great. Just describe, this is a This is a team effort. Oh, great. I think Morgan's very confused because <laughs> she's never worked with anyone before, yes. ever. She's always been by herself, so she's just, doesn't know what it's like to have other people helping or anything like that. Like, she's never had friends, really. Yes. So she's just kind of like, uh, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, she takes a knee and just kind of, yeah. So you pull back and loose, and everything seems to slow down in bullet time, and the fletching on your arrow seems to like distend and stretch out, and you can't tell if it's like the way the, the light works or if there's just streaming jet black feathers coming off of the back of your arrow. And you hear the true song of your bird. And whereas normally you hear that sweet melody and it gives you an instinctual uh, thought or feeling, these are words. And you hear, they're the ones that will get you out alive. Get the blueprints and get out. And everything speeds up again as your uh, arrow finds its mark in the last man's heart, and he crumples to the ground in the pile of yuck. Uh, you see this like beautiful glass-bottomed outdoor bar mm. that more you know to be the sky deck here. You look and see, and you see the design behind it, and you finally understand that little bit of blue stone that allows it to hover that keeps it from falling down. The support strut for the sky bar is broomstone. Incredibly rare, incredibly valuable. 
and you have just one little thought. And if you play your cards right, you all have an escape route. While your eyes are intensely focused on the realizations that are continuously, wave after wave, hitting your conscious mind, uh, Dariak just comes over and plops next to you. <laughs> hey, you look like you're um, <laughs> lost. How you doing? Oh, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. G great. Yeah. Uh, so we all did some crime. That was pretty crazy, yeah, right? Those, those were the biggest crimes I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna change my outfit, oh, of uh, course. and I'm gonna do uh, a terry cloth little robe. <laughs> Did they have terry cloth back then? Who knows? You know what? Similar to yes. And with like the maiden's wish like insignia, <laughs> and the flip flops are too big. You know what I mean when you go to the spot. No, I just have a small no, foot. I, no, I love this. You went uh, when you were in the penthouse. You saw the like nice robes yeah. uh, in just, yeah in Phaedroff's bathroom. And ready to go oh, for oh, me. Is, it's called the Chroma Dawn you're supposed cave. to wear to a spa? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've actually yeah. never actually um, been to one before. Oh yeah, you're supposed to wear this. Really? Oh, spa cave, Chroma okay. spa cave. I go ahead Sorry. and disguise myself into a matching robe. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pink. And now they look like yep. honeymooners. Oh yeah, no, I'm um, like directly the same outfit. I don't know. Oh, I've, never, I've never been to a spa before. Oh, there is. Security problem. Is it like <laughs> there is a, a desk in front of you uh, in five colors: red, black, oh. white, blue and green, and there's a lanky, kind of young-looking, half-giant uh, who's like, hello, and welcome to the Chromadon Cave, <sighs> where each treatment is more devastatingly relaxing than the last. Uh, my name is Tovar. <laughs> if you need anything, can I walk you through our Chroma Crisis of Options? <laughs> Oh, um, the first one is Brimscythe, the Iron Storm, and it's a pressure point bed, and you lay on it, and you get pushed, and it's good if you have tension, and there's a breath weapon facial that goes with it. Next up, Raishan, the diseased deceiver. <laughs> that's diseased. Yeah, that's what they called her. You have, Why do they you have, have a room in the spark of no, the diseased disease, deceiver? Well, it's named after the dragon. Normally she Dorian would be mad into this, and as he hears that, he just kind of wraps no, it. No, it's <laughs> really good. It's it's just like talks. blows himself off. No, hold on. Tovar Ooh. is so worried. You see him begin to sweat now, and he's like, no, 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 it's no great. No ringworm it's, for Dorian. It's <laughs> actually like an IV and locally sourced plant-based detoxifying wrap. Um, all the plants are sourced from the ivy heart thicket just outside of town. It's good. And the next one, and he points at the white door behind him, is Vorigal, the Frigid Doom. It's a cold dip pool. Sounds old. Yeah, Frigid Doom. He's a cold, he breathes cold. So this one's a cold pool. Um, We have, there's a dragonborn on staff that we keep, and he makes the hot pool hot and the cold pool cold. Like, it's his whole job. Um, So there's a cold pool. And then there's like a cold mask. I feel like I'm just getting really nervous, and I feel like no one wants to do any. You're doing great. We want to do you. all of it. We just want to figure out which uh, one first. Oh, thank you. Question: Does the dragonborn sit in the pool with you? No, no. He, the pools are elevated, there? and oh. he's just kind of under it. He goes back and forth, and he casts magic to make the the temperatures. There's a little man under the pool that makes it warm. He's not little. He's like six six. He's little for me. I like I'm. That image is worse. It's mm. worse for me. It's okay. worse. There, so there's a big man. There's mm -hmm. a big man under the pool. <laughs> <laughs> he walks back and forth and he casts yeah. magic. Wow, what's that last room look like? Yeah. I'm so there's excited. Two more. There's two more. Oh, oh shit. Umbrasil, the oh. hope devourer. <laughs> <laughs> a black <laughs> dragon. This is a cool full body, not devourer massage. And the last one is Thordak the Cinder King. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, it's a hot stone massage in a, in a just a hot pool. Mm. The theming here is like really strong. and. Kind of weird because while it was before my time, my parents told me about the Conclave and they killed like a lot of people. Yeah. So it's just a unique kind of dissonance. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where like over time, history becomes inherently more irreverent <laughs> and hilarious. It's kind of disrespectful, but like, you know. Yeah. But Cinder King! <laughs> Running into yeah. the room. <laughs> <laughs> it was because there was one other person there that looked a lot like you. 
But I don't know if like you're secretly a nameless one and we're on the same team or if someone like took your face and is impersonating you. You mean like a, another Genasi? No, I've seen like Genasi before. This I, one looks exactly like I, you. But with like different clothes? I immediately, I put my hand on his shoulder and I flick up to the gift. Okay. Is it uh, who I think it is, is what I'm asking. Okay. Your gift. Would you like me to be a little more specific? No, no, no. Okay. I am trying to decide how to give this, because you put your hand on him, and your gift shudders before you even think the question, because you've thought this question a lot. The focus of your attention for the last year has been in your sister's direction, so the gift knows what's coming. And almost as if you were seeing it through his eyes, you're looking at your sister, Fyrikai. Opal, hmm? when you sort of wind down for the night, your dreams turn inward and you find yourself once again in that dark liminal space that's much less scary now mm. that you know Ted is waiting for you. Yeah. And it's not necessarily her that's waiting for you when you get there. And you hear the Spider Queen's voice in your ear. You had a busy day, didn't you? Yeah, it was kind of fun. Where's Ted? Oh, she's here. I just... Wanted some alone time with okay. you. Okay. So, how do you like my gift? Um, I have some notes. Mm. Um. I don't take notes. Oh, then why'd you ask? Because I was hoping you'd be excited to continue and further our little partnership. I am. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I just, just a couple little things here and there, but you know, I'll just put it in the feedback box. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Um, I feel like we need a little bit of a PR shift for you. Mm. Cause I feel like you're a really good person and like people- I'm not a person. Okay, uh, you're a really good being and like you just got like a bad rap the last few hundred years. I don't know, but I just, on. I just feel like maybe we could rehab your image a little bit, you know? I mean, I'm listening. Well, um, instead of like being so like ah! uh, horrifying, like maybe we can just like, clean you up a bit, you know? Like we can do some nice things for people and then that'll kind of rehab the image. And then, you know, people won't run away when they hear about you or see you or, you know, stuff like that. What? nice fucking thing do you think I can do to get people to stop calling me a betrayer god? Oh, so much, so much. Um, uh, well, we can start by um, helping poor people. You know, we could do this poodle and we can help poor Dorian and his brother Cyrus. Dorian. They're so poor. Here's the thing, girl, <laughs> they're in trouble. And like, I really think if we hook this up for him, then word will spread that like, the betrayer god is now helping good-hearted folks. Well then, will you be my champion? Yes! Oh my god, I've been dying for you to ask, yes! <laughs> Every champion requires a test, but I know how strong you are. Is that a written test? I'm bad at those. No. And I apologize, because this is going to hurt. Opal, you feel yourself, your conception of yourself double over in pain. Mm. Your veins and arteries feel like they are filled with fire mm. as poison rushes through your body. You see in your mind's eye, you're kind of looking down at yourself and you see shuddering flashes of what could be, of people that have failed the Spider Queen's test and been warped and twisted and turned into horrible monsters mm. who have no will of their own, 
They're simply bent into her service. Mm. But you know who you are. And that presence of mind that lets you stand and speak to a god as an equal, as a partner, courses back through you, strengthens your resolve, hardens your veins to iron, and you feel that pain lessen mm. and lessen until it's a warm comfort that runs through your veins, something else close to you, inside of you, and a part of you. Yeah. Maybe we can negotiate like a little bit of like an outfit clean, but we don't have to do that right now. We could do that later. I just Why I, do you I, think I made the mirror? Really? See, I knew you were a good friend. Are we friends? Yeah. I mean, you live in my head, so I hope so. Interesting. And you feel her presence recede. I think I think Opal looks in the mirror and she doesn't love it. And she did have notes about her appearance from before. <laughs> but I think I don't take notes. Yeah, but I, but I really think now that she's sort of hardened and and there has been a little bit of of this kind of like badass power coursing through her. I think she realizes how um, powerful that imagery can be. So I think she's going to keep it. Amazing. I'm personal girl. You up. Right, I am now. What's the matter? Is everything all right? Uh, I just wanted to just like have a quick, you know, like a check in. Because I think things got really crazy. Things are always crazy around you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Around like, me? Like in a good way. Oh. Like it's crazy, but you take care of it. Yeah, yeah. And sure. you're always with people that like take care of it and you take care of them. I'm gonna give him a nod and slowly creep over and sort of put her my back against the wall by the fire, sort of away from the rest of the group. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I know I'm the older brother, and I'm the one that's supposed to lead our people, but I just wanted your advice on what I should do next. <laughs> I mean, assuming we don't die, <laughs> tomorrow, and my debts are settled, I don't feel ready to go home. Well, if I have to be honest, neither do I. I know my friends have been teasing you, <laughs> and yeah, I know it. <laughs> I have been too, but you are a good heir. You're strong, you're capable, you're loyal. We may not be the best outside of our element, but there is no one better than you when you're in it. But this is what I've always wanted. I've always wanted to bring the outside world into our lives more, into the lives of our people. That's all I ever wanted. That's why I left. And we are just showing through our ineptitude that it was the right choice. God. Every story I heard about what it would be like out here. <laughs> it's so much bigger. Wow, it's so much more difficult. Oh my God. I thought we would rule. <sighs> Wouldn't you spend every day of your life and your youth someone telling you you're the best or and your brother's the so best? so nice. Yes. But they every don't have to be nice to you out here. They don't. And they can take advantage of you yeah. or they can lift you up. And we've had both. I am loving every minute of it. Even more so with you. So whatever you, ch whatever we choose, I think we're on the right path. As strange as it feels. And if this doesn't work, we meet other good people that we like, and we bring those that we can with us, and that's all life is. And when it's time to go home, we go home. And I hope we go home together. Uh, oh, please. Oh. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm full of emotion. <laughs> and I went to the bar like three times while you guys were fighting upstairs. <laughs> uh, it's been a tough few months. <laughs> yeah. but I wouldn't be here without you. I am grateful and proud to call you my brother. 
and then I will follow you anywhere. Oh. <sighs> side by side. And we'll take turns on who takes the lead. And he leans in and gives you a hug. Oh, oh, come on. I'm sorry. Oh, you. Uh, wait, you once I start, it's just so hard to stop. Why? And he's just Why? wiping his face off on your hair. Oh, you smell like mead, too. Yeah. Ugh. Quickly. Yes. Can I, um, <clears throat> Spider Girl, bestie. Okay, I don't know how I feel about Spider Girl. Um, okay, what should <laughs> I call Like, what's good? What should I call you? Hey, what? What should I call you? Um, the spider queen. Oh, okay, that's a little formal, but okay. So we're about to do this big poodle, okay? So um, if I just like need help or whatever, like can I just like like call in? I need. Because I'm your champion now. Yeah. Actually, yes, okay. and I can grant you a boon since you forgot to do it yesterday. Okay. And you feel uh, that little like opalescent brooch mm -hmm. returns to your form as your familiar is resummoned to you. Oh, yeah. It's an earring, doing. but yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an okay. earring, that's right. Okay. She made it a brooch and then she goes, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> and makes it an earring. <laughs> My okay, bad, so, I forgot. Um, <laughs> would you be upset if I called her Ted Three? Or do you want me to call her? I can name her after you, Spider Girl. Oh, wait, why? Oh, it's the same. Mm, there's so much to unpack in everything you just said. Oh, so it's the same It's the soul. same. They're so not, soul Ted is a two. big word. It's okay. Ted 2 again. Okay. It's Ted 2 again. All right, yes. we'll call her Ted 2 again. Thanks so okay. much. You're welcome. Love Bye. you. <clears throat> Sometimes she just gets like that and kind of stares in the corner. It's a little creepy, but, you know, keeps her happy. <laughs> and you all are standing in front of the entrance to the buffet. A taste of Taldore. Is this going to be a pun list? Yes, yes. it is. Yes. <laughs> I'm here for it. I could break you off a couple of these. Uh, you see over in the corner is the dessert bar. It's called Pie Rodin. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. these are all for you. I'm just gonna make eye contact with you, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's the Still Bend Fish Market, oh. the Iron Authority Grill. <laughs> yeah, because it's just grilled all kinds of animal. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Amon, the Amon Cloud Top Breakfast Bar. Oh. Yeah, uh, and the Crag Hammer Blast Furnace Pizza Hutch. <laughs> oh, not the Pizza Hutch. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, and the Whitestone Winery, where all the mimosas and drinks Oh, that's are. nice. Yeah, I want to go there. Yeah, yeah, written yeah. in cursive under it is, uh, life needs wine to live. <laughs> hey, oh, but first, well why no? Well Did you, where is Cyrus? He's your problem. <laughs> he is my problem. So what do you tell him to do? <sighs> to bring or not to bring is always the question <laughs> with your <laughs> idiot brother. Yeah. Um, if you want a liability, I would absolutely have a wonderful time exploiting. I've been thinking about it. How do you want uh, to I have a decided to, uh, to uh, Cyrus begged to participate. He did. <laughs> do I need? Are you just asking me that? Yeah. Or do I need to flash back to the plan? Oh my God! Already? Already? <gasps> Already. Oh, he's just gonna. Okay. Just gonna lay okay. it out. Wow. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna flash back to the plan. Yay! Yeah. So you have to let me go. I spent my flippy chippy. This is a flippy chippy. That's what I'm get to the list. It. That's good. Flippy That's good. Right. As 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 the rest of them are discussing the real plan. Yeah. Cyrus is doing what you're doing yeah. right now. I I, I oh, let I, me go. How I am I supposed to get not go? bad at shit? I know you want to go, and I should go. Yeah. You are gonna go. All right. Here's what we do. What I whispered later. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love a surprise as a DM. Oh. Oh. You did this. Yeah, you did this. You, you, did this. you no. gave me the power. Yes. All right. I I stand by it. And you know what? You get a little like puff of wind nudge from Cyrus, who's been watching per the plan uh, out the little window into the main buffet, mm. and he gets your eyes and goes. Oh, that's part of the plan. <laughs> oh my! Put and he pushes plans. through the doors oh. and went. That's the distraction. Got it. <laughs> I'm a bard. <laughs> and you hear him just walk out and begin to yodel. And he, ha and he has my he has my loot. Yeah, my blue loot, not yeah. my new mandolin. Yeah. And he starts strumming it. 
Oh God. Anyone here want to watch? Very well, actually. Yes! With a 19 <laughs> on the die. He just. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I will ask you, what does it look like when Moore casts magic? Oh, that's an interesting one. I'd say it's like pretty simple. I think she takes her little rope out delicately and puts it on the floor and goes, and goes <laughs> <laughs> You're so big. Yeah, she goes, so big. I, goes exactly. I went, Wow, this rope is so big and thick. <laughs> Inspiration. Oh my god, <laughs> that rope yeah. caught oh She just does it for effect. Yeah. Oh, so um, and the rope seems to waste. blush before it disappears. Yeah. All right, now kind of seeing all this happen rapidly through this like shifting wind tunnel space, I'm going to try and shout out, not knowing that he won't hear me, uh, but be like, <laughs> stop holding our new bunny friend and stop staring at Opal, it's Root! Oh. And I'm going to cast blindness on him. Yeah! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, yeah. Nothing, no! So he's got to make a constitution saving throw, which is probably good at, so, but we'll try it. Yeah, the bonus is so high, but I got two on the dice. Oh, oh yes, Dariak! Oh no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made her eat a dice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, well, what happens? What well, does it look like? <laughs> the. The compulsion of the magical effect kind of creeping into his mind is just enough to get his attention back towards me, and the last thing he sees before his eyes go to utter darkness is me just going. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you yes, still get two okay. attacks in a single. Oh, I do still get two attacks? Yeah. Oh, shit. So in I'm your action, these. you get two yeah. attacks. Right, okay, now. yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, that's two natural 20s. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why was I on the phone? Yeah, oh, amazing. Yeah, That's so happens. good. Yeah. There there, right there, there, if there, only there. they were two separate. That's yeah. Plus eight? Yeah. Plus eight? Yeah. Oh, plus eight? That's ni 19. Oh, Opal. You never not do it. How do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay, so I, I'm going, I, I, you know, he slipped away. Opal, on the other hand, is not all looped up. So she's gonna, she's gonna climb on his back and just the old tried and true, she's gonna take her fucking dagger and she's gonna slice his throat open. And there's something that happens with the flame, right? It jumps from the dagger into there's the something. There's no other enemies. So unless you want it to jump to your friends and no, I would like. Can it? Can it jump? Can it jump to like his like his like eye? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. So he's like, sorry, uh, but let's go. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. But let's go is such a move. And then he's got the yes. eye that's like being burned, and you know you can flourish it. But at the end, yeah, yeah. I would like to say and that's on the Spider Queen. So she hears me because I am her champion. Yes, you see that this door is magically trapped with some glyphs at the very corners of it. Do you have a glyphs thing? And she points them out to the group so you can do a thing. I think I planned for this. Yes. Okay! Yes. Let's go! I would say that this vault door is probably similar to other vault doors that she's seen. Absolutely. Okay. Um, she somehow has figured out how to get rid of them glyphs because she's seen other she's seen other doors with glyphs on them. Uh, so we don't need a full flashback to this, yeah. but we do jump back and see you pouring over the blueprints, putting it together. We get flashes of the other casinos you've hit that have had smaller weaker, shabbier versions of this. The very first casino you went to, you could honestly use your normal thieves tools to break yeah. into and bypass. And you realize that as you were hitting bigger and bigger joints, you would have to commission stronger and stronger tools. Mm -hmm. And the, the set of thieves tools you have now and on top of your regular ones are all, each piece is like a foot wide. Mm -hmm. It's made of this like magically, uh, like guarded and warded, a uh, symbol covered metal that this is the strongest door you've dealt with. Mm -hmm. But what's a little harder when you've been practicing? You kick it and it bounces and swings yeah, open and you're able to right. like gracefully step up as it opens behind mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and gesture like full showgirl style. Yeah, I'm still wearing my showgirl feathers. Yes. 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 You and me both. <laughs> <laughs> you did not kill my big bad oh. in feathers. Oh. Oh. Three oh. of them. Yeah. Damn it. 
that challenge is here. Her <laughs> fall as uh, she gestures, and you guys see a vault filled with 50,000 gold in front of you. Yeah, Question, how, how the much we can fuck carry. are you carrying this well, much yeah. gold? Somebody yeah. plan for way. it. Oh, <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so last night, when everyone's kind of bedding down, I'm sitting there in my head, I'm like, all right, so I've, wait, no, I've stolen stuff before, and I can't tell you how many times, how many times we've gotten there and realized that we there was too much shit to take back. You didn't uh, have a bag. So what we need is a lot of bags. I'll be right back. And so I went ahead and used my disguise cloak to go ahead and look like, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and say that I, I I look like one of the the elf bastards that we fought in the in the uh, the, the Verdant Expanse. Mm, act, act a little snooty. Right, right. Walk around right. to me, but I'm here on Singorian business, and I need to acquire as many strong but durable bags as I can to bring back. This is a good trade opportunity for diplomatic relations and such with the people of Singorn. Give me bags. Give me bags. Amazing. So I bought a bunch of bags. What about a magic bag? <laughs> they make those? Yes. I mean, Aren't you from? Yes, I am. And the magic bags that we have aren't as good as the ones from Kaimal, I hear. So if you have magic bags available, then it would be great for my Singornian uh, bosses. Do you have papers? Like to prove? I would be happy to set up like a good relationship, but I just need to know that you're on the level. Oh, of course, to of course. I am on the level. Can't you tell by my thick Singonian accent? It's a very strong accent, yes. Okay, okay. okay but yeah, okay. I, I can provide some papers. Let me just, uh, I'll, I'll return from my hotel room where I left them, while I am but staying briefly in town as a, and a representative. Yes, it all seems you? legit to me. I'm here at my booth. Then I will return shortly. You're open late. Um, I'm going to go ahead Never and. Never close. <laughs> I drink so much coffee. <laughs> Cyrus <laughs> actually <laughs> presents you with like, some very fine. Oh, this is letterhead oh, from home. Really? I mean, awesome. I need someone I to helped. also write me a diplomatic letter. <laughs> Hand it back. <laughs> okay, what am I writing? And he pulls oh, yeah. out a quill. That's right. That's his He's job. Like I, I am. I am uh, masquerading as a representative mm -hmm. of Singorn, who Don't is write here. Those on... exact words. No, I, he is a, oh, I, thank you. Yes. Look, that's a good note. Thank you. <laughs> and he I'm not even puts a lie. sheet of paper I'm under his butt and starts <laughs> over again. <laughs> and as promised, my papers. She puts them to her face and adjusts her coke bottle glass. It's elvish. I don't speak elvish. Well. But that makes sense, because you're from, okay, okay, okay. And she kind of folds them up very lovingly and tucks them into the pocket. Good I can give you two bags of holding if you promise to uh, return, and we can establish some sort of deal. I would love to make you give me money for goods. <laughs> but of course. And you see tucked up in the corner, the only thing in here that isn't gold, or money, just that isn't money, is this chiseled away piece of like pristine white marble that looks like a bas relief of a human feminine face, very symmetrical, almost mask-like and uh, there's intricate carvings of feathers extending out away from the edge of the face and underneath in the place where words would be, name would be, you feel almost sickened as your eye slides across it and your eyes well up and blur and you cannot perceive whatever is under it. Give me an insight check. As your songbird, this little token to you, has gone from singing to screaming. Uh, 13. Oh no, 14. 14. That frenetic cawing. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wait, 14, 15. Oh, okay, sweet. Hey, you hit the DC. <laughs> that, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> that cawing uh, 14, 
feels like that's the sort of artificial sense of like your heart racing. Mm -hmm. And you don't hear it in words, but that sort of frenetic, like, kill it, break it, get rid of it, destroy it. As the cawing continues to like cycle and scream. I, 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 I gotta destroy it, I, I, gotta, I gotta get rid of it. All right. <laughs> I grab it. Bar relief. Kind of, you know, go into my wells of dwarvish strength. We've spent generations, generations working with stone, carving it, and destroying it. Yeah. And I just do a full-on like jump in the air to get as much time as I can overhead, like slam dunk maneuver, and just as hard as I can yeah. onto the hard floor of the middle of the vault. Amazing. All right. Like it hits and kicks up like some of that compacted dirt and shatters away, and you seem to even see as you look on with delight as you break this. It looks like a raven feather slips uh, through your periphery and is gone when you go to perceive it as you turn your face to the sun. The thing is, you didn't see the raven feather, mm. but I'm going to give it to you that, like, if you are moving over and kind of looking at this, uh, this like weird bit of statuary. I mean, yeah, the gods of Exandria are known to people, mm -hmm. and. I guess at this angle, at this light with those feathers, maybe this is something reminiscent of the Matron of Ravens? Mm -hmm. But who could know? How could you know? Oh, we planned for this. Oh. <laughs> it's like the coins come in handy. It's like they come in handy. Ah. Talk to me. Um, so we have an option of going on the outside, correct? Yeah. Okay, I have a rope and a grappling hook. Mm -hmm. And um, in the blueprints, we found on the third floor, um, there um, are suites. Uh, yeah. We did a little bit of sleuthing around that day. And using, um, now that I've really enjoyed your cloak, um, I used your cloak one more time at your discretion, if that yeah, was totally. okay, um, to look like one of the, um, uh, like hospitality, yes. um, and like room service, not room service, um, housekeeping. Yeah. And so I kept knocking on the doors and the housekeeping, and, um, and uh, uh, one of them was completely empty. Yes. And so I went in there, I took the do not disturb sign, uh, which is in several languages. It's in Elvish, yeah. Dwarven, it's in several languages. And I put it on the outside and I uh, gauged, I scoped out the room and so noticed that it's a very easy climb mm -hmm. from there, from the egress that we were talking about. Perfect. If only we had like another party out there that could bring something s explosive. If only! Me? Iris. Yeah. Iris. Oh, Iris. <laughs> Some Where's... sort of plan we could have calculated earlier. Well, like, who's got it? Uh, who else's coins? I have. But you tried, and she and was from like, "No." The front it's door. Not... <laughs> <laughs> we literally hear. He yells. <laughs> actually, Cyrus yells two bits himself. <laughs> two bits. Two bits! <laughs> and busts through the door, joining you. Okay. And he's got. This is on you. Did you you didn't tell me the plan, so Cyrus. I don't know how to help. Did you play hey. fantasy dynamite? <laughs> oh my God. They're laughing. <laughs> Did you bring the I cannot. Oh. I cannot. I absolutely I did. And we get, it's not a flashback for the group, but Cyrus gets lost in a thousand yard sticker. Oh, yeah. As we get just a wild group of misadventures of how he uh, got Montage. down. Yeah, he got down into that market and he was like, I gotta find something explosive. But then this like beautiful woman distracted him and he went on like a whole noir adventure late into the night. He actually didn't get his long rest. He played cards until you fell asleep. And then he went on this beautiful adventure as this dame that was no good but so beautiful led him <laughs> out and around. He got turned, he was polymorphed into a black bear in the secret fighting pit that's inside under the western. It's what you were hearing. Oh they all took random potions and would fight each other. Oh my God. And he's just covered in scars, 
bruised and beaten and this woman says thank you for defending my honor here's the fantasy dynamite <laughs> and a healing potion and no one will know of our love i brought it I, oh my god the things i gave away in order to get it and he begins like this dramatic monologue as you just grab it out of his hand <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing one of each of uh, <laughs> these yeah, to yeah, everybody yeah, yeah i assume we have to light them on fire there I, are people coming up here Let's go fast. Go, 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 go! Oh I, 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 I light them all with my um, <laughs> my hands, because I have uh, produced flame, reach, reach to the blade. Okay. So, so, yeah. I but I do I need do all again. of you to roll initiative. Oh, as you've wait, now no. done enough. You've done that. enough big, loud wait, noises. Wait, no, I planned for this. Oh! <laughs> I'm this gonna take so my fucking seat. Stupid. Let's go. It's not that good of a plan. Here's, hey, hey, hold on. <laughs> Here's what I need. Amy, Amy, I need you to look me in the eye. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Make this the perfect plan. It better Because be. I love you and I like you. And unless you are airtight in this, I'm gonna fuck you okay, over. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, well, here's your first chance to fuck me up. Okay, so it's terrifying. Ready? I love me. Okay, so can I, yesterday, or, yeah. or no, not yesterday, this morning, actually, okay. I got my pearl of power to get an extra spell slot. Okay. And with that extra spell slot, I had this idea that someone might hear us on the deck. And so I will have decided to preemptively cast major image so that it looks like right in front, so that it looks like the entire deck has collapsed. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was supposed to be an encounter. Oh uh -huh. shit. I have bad guys in a whole fight. We're gonna elide this to a single die roll. I know what I said, presuming success. You're going to get this off, but the timing has to be immaculate, okay. Opal. So, you guys are uh, damaging and shattering and trying to expose that last lion. You need to time this illusion so it looks like it's falling away as you detach, as we detach. and go. So, Give me so one what do you more attempt. <sighs> one more time. Hey, real good. Please roll, guys! Please roll, guys! You got it, you got it. Oh the my god, I you believe in you. <laughs> yeah, you've done so oh many, my god, yeah. You've done so many things. Yeah, I did it, I, I said. I say it without like, trying to say it. Here, use my four if you need it. Okay. It's not a D4, it's a D8. What is it? Well, I got an eight now, fuck, so use that one. <laughs> okay, so what do I do? So that's 23. 23. 23. 23. Describe for me the major image you put in place okay. as people are staring out at this rubble and as the dust clears, something oh. new flickers into life in their vision. Just a half a beat off, but who who could know in the chaos of what's going on? So what I, so like? I, what I would like, and I don't know if this can work, but what I would like to, she's doing a lot right now. <laughs> um, what I would like to do is I would like them to see it just sort of like crumble, like crack, um, the, or the weight of it just kind of tip, um, like there's been an explosion, and everybody just sort of like fall to their death. But before that happens, and then there's fire, obviously, because of the booze and because of obviously. the dynamite. Yeah. And before that happens, would it be possible, in my major image, to use disguise self? Can I do that in my major image? Can I do that? Oh my Probably God. not, but let's just say. Why would I say no? Why to you? would you say no? There's, so it's I'm, fine. Gonna, I'm gonna disguise self as fucking Pasca, so they can see their <laughs> sweet fucking leader just fall to her death and just break their hearts on top of all of it. Oh, you're so cool. incredible. Uh, they see you all crumbling. Uh, I'll do you one better. It's not just Pasca. It's Pasca standing triumphant over your group's corpses. Fine. She was victorious, yes. but sacrificed herself as it all crumbles and falls away. And uh, they run up to the edge, uh, but you've detached and floated away from the wall. So they're just looking down at the major image that they think is it like crumbling into ruin right. uh, dozens of feet below you. And you guys say it. Do it. You <laughs> I cannot say fly off. We into the did sunset. it! You literally fly off into the sunset! We did a poodle! We did a poodle! We did a poodle! We did a poodle! 
you see from the balcony, like you actually look out across at the Maiden's Wish Casino, devastated, under fire, full of pitched bloody battle. And your eyes glance off to the penthouse and the balcony where you see your sister and your sister sees you. And she just watches. She was never deceived by the major image. And she is waiting. And when you finally lock eyes with her, you can see just the whites of her teeth as she grins menacingly at you, saying nothing, just staring. And knowing that her time, your time, is still coming. And she is patient. And she is delighted. Do you do or say anything? I mean, I... Uh, uh, she's far away and we're going very, very slow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be... The longest yeah, got time. <laughs> like a pigeon. Because we're going, like, slowly. <laughs> my hair flares a little bit more. My tattoos start to flare up a little bit more. And I pull out the tiger's eye. And I just hold it in my hand like this and close it. She folds her arms. She's not wearing any weapon you can see. And I don't know what you knew about her from before, before you began searching. But she looks at your hand as it closes and you see her neck shift a little bit like she was cracking her neck, but you hear it like it's right next to you as the tiger's eye in your hand shatters in half. And she gives you a little nod and turns and walks back inside the penthouse. So, you did it against all odds in defiance of truly logic, logic. <laughs> and understanding. I want to end with more. In this moment, what are you thinking about? What are you feeling? This group of absolute numbskulls has just helped you pull off the biggest heist that Taldori has ever seen. Also the slogan. It's both those things. <laughs> World's slowest victory lap. As you drift. I look out, because I can see like over Kaimal, right? Yeah. And past Kaimal. Yeah. Is there, there are mountains, I'm assuming. There's, There's... the Iron Sea Ridge to the northwest. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a bunch of flats and like some like river waterways way off in the distance and a little wooded area to like mm. the southwest. <clears throat> She's never like I'm assuming we're up pretty high, yeah. Yeah. Like I look out and I've I've never been up so high before. Like I've never seen it. I've I've seen I've seen the mountains but I've never seen them like this and it just reminds me that there's so much more out there for me to see. Um, I think she's just quiet. As you take it all in, <clears throat> your mind drifts back to your point of entry from the Feywild to that incredibly kind, incredibly old woman that sent you on her way, on your way, with only her name on your lips, more again. And you saw in that moment as she pushed you through the promise in her smile that you would see more, that you will look down on a world and change it. And that it was just for you to do, good or bad, just do. And then you came here and here you are now. And our sort of last thought as you look out into the sunset, because truly time is, you've spent a whole day just drifting up here. 
<laughs> a single raven lands on the broomstone that you're standing beside and looks at you and calmly regards you, unblinking, uncanny, but with you in the silence as something great and terrible approves of what you've done today. And that's where we're going to end our two-part adventure. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.